there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we'll switch switch over when we're ready, okay? Welcome to the Dragon Show. That's Dragon and Fair together. I am Zanny. This is Alkali. I'm not here. And we're doing a stream on Twitch. Woo! What uh, happened? Let us know how this sound is. This is all kind of off the cuff. Uh, had to tweak some stuff. It's not going to be perfect, but as long as you can hear us, and like, yeah, I know it's not going to be perfect. As long but... as you can hear us from Cuba, apparently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Hello, Cuba. Cuba. Hello, Cuba. Uh, yes, yeah, so we got this going, we got there that go. going. I can see I how many people. No, I can't see how many people. How'd that happen? That's fine. No. They'll tell us. No, I got They'll it. They'll be like constantly, like, one person. Oh, one person. One person here. Well, thanks for being here. Yeah, we're trying to do more things on Twitch because uh, we're just trying to get everyone in the same room kind of thing. It's going to be a little weird at first, but eventually we'll get everyone over here. You get, y'all you, you get it. <laughs> It's for, it's for it's for the greater good. For the greater good, we're the really going good. with that right off the. The cuff. greater good. For the greater good. The greater good, as the in like good. we think it's better for us, but. <laughs> <laughs> Notice how the greater good usually comes down to the people in charge think it's better for them. Therefore, I mean, the greater good. The greater good. The greater good. Oh, Toast knows it. The yeah, greater good. The greater good. <laughs> uh, thanks for being here. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> It's been a while. It's one of our friends would often say. Hey, Dragger. Uh, <laughs> we're just hanging out here. We thought we'd hop on, say hey, talk to you to see what's going on. I got to check our levels to make sure our like, music uh, is and right. Also, hello to Ellis and Zeb for joining yes. us. Thank you so much for subscribing. Mm hmm. Look at this. Everything looks good. Everything does look good. I'm not the, even in the red yet. No, oh, 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 I went, yeah, yet. Yet. It's, it's, a, it's a just started. So, it's it's hot in here. We we cracked open the garage, but we persevered because Ferret does not do well in the sweltering humidity. D doesn't do well in the humidity. Does not begin to describe. So recently, you might have seen me on the show with Uncle Kage. Ooh. I got to go all the way to South Carolina, or as I call it, soup. It's just soup. Hold on. Uh, sorry. Milwaukee, did they just win the championship? Is that what's going uh, on? That's what the chat says. I had no idea that was going on. Congratulations. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Holy shit. I had no idea. Well, congratulations, Milwaukee. I'm going to guess that's what that is. Cheers with my phone. I'm going to get a Coke. Welcome to the Dragon Show. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Yep. Air soup. Mmm. Ugh. So is it true? Is it? I, I'm, I'm, we'll, we'll find out soon. Hopefully, the chat will let us know. Scarfy, we have a lot of shows that we watch. Oh, yeah. We have so many shows to watch. In fact, that we have to choose the few hours we spend together at night what we're going to watch. And we did end up watching the first episodes of season two of B Stars. Yep. And there is a big snake. Big Sneak. I love Snake. I thought so. So, yeah, we will be continuing that. Uh, it is kind of amazing and adorable. and cute. Everything is adorable in that show. There's she's, so many little people. It's a show someone's going to accuse her of eating somebody. Or she's going to already already did eat somebody. What do you think? The snake? Yeah. I hope she ate somebody. That's how you survive as a snake. <laughs> hey, you, think, oh. you think the snake is having a peanut butter sandwich? Have you read Dr. Seuss? You don't make a little outline of a sandwich in the snake's body. It has to be a rabbit and a donkey. They'll explain that every school needs a snake that you have to feed. Or otherwise, you, you don't get enough funding for the year. You have to feed the... Uh, the Great Snick. The Great Snick? Yes. Yeah, how, how do you think you get good books for the year? That's how you get good supplies. Otherwise, they just give you the, sh like, just shit scra scrambled on. What is no. wrong with your schooling? You don't feed the Snick to get good books. You destroy the bookworms. That's how you get books. No, you need to feed the Snick. Don't, don't feed the Snick. Never feed the snake. The <sighs> snake okay, will then well. just want more and more food. It will eat all of your students. Yeah, I know, but you don't have a choice. Either you die or you feed the snake. I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand how All books right. work. Wait a minute. You think you die without books? 
If yeah, the snake will eat you. If you don't have books. If you don't have books. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, si no it's, cyclical. it's cyclical. I'm not saying the system makes sense. <laughs> See, like the, you, you, you do, you're just pointing out the problems with it. Anyway, <laughs> so next, like where are the books? They're like, ah, gotta eat you. How's everyone doing tonight? I hope somebody's out there is having a decent mm -hmm. drink. Uh, we have water and coke, but we will be switching over to something a little bit. Uh, uh, with a smoky aftertaste. Oh, fizzier, a little while. if you will. Yeah, yes. it's a very fizzy drink. Fizzy drink. Big, uh, why are you buying books right now? <laughs> no like Snick. What? Remember when Amazon just sold books? That was a whole thing. Th that's how that's how capitalism works. You see, it didn't matter what they were selling. It mattered how they sold it. And that's going to be Bezos's talk now that he's yeah. come back from space. Spaceos. 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 Read the Spaceos book? I get it, I get it. You have to read the Spaceos book. Yeah. What's it's kind of cool. I watched an interview okay. with a uh, NASA engineer, like high-level NASA engineer. Mm -hmm. And the first thing he says is like, yeah, it's really interesting to see the private sector doing this, but I would like to remind everyone that there are now over 150 people in charge of keeping one rich asshole alive for a few hours. Welcome to capitalism, baby. It was baby. so disappointing. I'm sure he had like every fucking, like, uh, yeah, all those people just to make sure the Bezos stays alive. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, I can't even, I, I mean, you would know more than anyone as far as like how much, how many stocks were on watching that to make sure nothing goes wrong. Just his life, right? Oh, Bezos? no, no, we're cool. Yeah, we're cool with him dying. Oh, for real? Yeah, he's me. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. No, he's that, just a figurehead. Well, I mean, most of them is, are figureheads. Yeah, though. most of them are figureheads, but I mean, richest guy in the world, it would be this. Oh, wow, that was Bezos' death. Like, when you can equate your life to a dip in the stock market, you're basically one capitalism. That's, yeah. that's that's your funeral right there. It's like the grave. It goes down and up in the chart, and they just put your body in the, the, the tick chart. That's how I know D, uh, Bezos is smart, because he does stay on the DL. Like, I know what he looks like, but I never heard him talk. You know, his, his evil doesn't get out there too often. Not like... You know, he doesn't go on Joe Rogan and smoke a doobie or anything stupid like that. <laughs> I just make his stock go boom. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> let's talk about other things. Like yeah, water and glasses. Right, a penis. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yep, white's magic. White's magic? What is what is magic? There we go. What is magic? 50 years ago, my parents saw a man walk on the moon. Today, I saw the guy who killed bookstores ride a penis into space. Well done. Well done. That, America. That's, that, is, that is the only way it could have progressed, you understand. Because like we're like, ah, where, where do we go with this? Space race is over. The <laughs> Gotta start is getting creative. We put fucking cars and shit in there. You get it. I love that the space race is basically on hold right now until we get fusion power. Hmm. Uh, oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Moore. Thank you, Moore. Thank you for all the bits. <laughs> oh, Moore is going to bed, bits. I understand. Moore, enjoy bed and whatever happens in bed. Mm. I'm assuming cereal. That's what happens at the bed in my house. Console the cut. Yes, they do. Console the coyote. I know... He's very sad about the, 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 the Phoenix losing. Oh, that was the game? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, Pepper. Yeah, sorry, Pep. We didn't just send songs into space. We sent a golden disc with translatable hieroglyphs on it. Like, you do understand that's what we did. Mm. Scientists came up with, like, what do you think everyone could read? It's like, well, here's a spiral. What are those things called? Ah! Spiral zone? No, Spiral. it's a type of star. Here's a quasar map to show you where our planet is. And we sent that into space. We're like, oh, there's way more quasars than we thought. That won't work. Oh, here's basic math. We'll send that into space. Then they'll know they're <coughs> smart. Yeah. So someone mentioned dicks into space. I mean, we do send dicks into space, but there's a reason. We just we use nature's model of how we send things places. That's it's pretty aerodynamic. It's, You're really into panspermia, aren't you? Oh fuck yeah! Awesome. <laughs> I mean, what's a portal? Just a space vagina. What? Huh? Metallica? I did not know that the golden disc had Metallica. Huh? 
The that Golden was- Disc? Oh, is that what got sent out into space? Yeah. Probably like the Black Album by Metallica. That's the classic one. Yeah, I mean, that would yeah. work in space because we're trying to find dark matter. So you send the Black Album, hope they... Well, like you just said, you send a dick into space and they screw and they'll make like a, a Dark Matter Junior and it will attack Earth and we'll know that there's intelligence. Dark Matter Junior? Is dark Matter the son Junior. of Black Adam? Dark Matter Junior? Black Adler. Yeah, they, they send him into Black space Adler. to fuck gotcha. Black Hole. Ah. Yeah, okay. They're compatible. I made everything bigger. Yeah, now we can see things. Better. I made everything bigger. Woo. Another thing that you hear in a bedroom. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <gasps> I saw... Oh, yes, that's what that is. Yes, but thanks for joining us here on this lovely Tuesday night. I can't... I don't know, I don't to, know the day of the week. Hey, I know. You don't have regular days. <laughs> it's actually very funny. For those of you who don't know, uh, I actually refer to... The, when I say the weekend, I'm actually referring to uh, Friday and Saturday. Not because those are just my days off. They are. But because I work the Asia shift. So all of my time in mentally is all based off of like Asia time. So everything I do is slightly wrong. Mm. Like, hey, we're going to go do something on Wednesday. Wednesday. Like, do you mean Tuesday? Maybe. And then I just leave and go to work and hope for the best. It's Febter Day! <laughs> it's Febter Day! <laughs> oh, are we redlining? I don't even know. I can't. Well, I probably am. Uh, but it's like I said, this was quick and dirty. I'll have to see you afterwards and we'll just. Yeah. Oh, Josh, we got we'll it. We'll just. All right, there's drinking. Join us. Ah, uh, yes, a drinking. Smoky. The fizzy. Cocktail. Drinking fizzy things. Anyway, congratulations, Bucks. You have the the Durr. The Durr one. For the Durr. Fear the deer. That's their thing. For the Durr. It's about time that Durr won something. Honestly. I like I like deer being a being a, a, a mascot. Did you hear how much the Durr won in the bet? How much? A buck. Oh shit. <sighs> ah, mm. Might need to relight. Oh, no, it's going now. <laughs> For me. <laughs> Sue, we we always fear you, seeing as you attacked yourself from the grass during a convention. No, yeah. <coughs> See, the, 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 the victory parade should be in the middle of traffic, because like that would be like, you know, the deer. Then the victory parade <laughs> wouldn't move. It would just freeze. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. Ah, thank you for the groan. Your groans fuel me. Ah, yes. Never, never, never groan around alkali. <laughs> the dad jokes permeate. Well, what was the line from Thirty Rock? Oh, you, oh yeah. You can't, <laughs> you can't scare away the gays with drama. That gives them like electrolytes. It's, it's, it gives them electrolytes. That was yes. Awesome. Such a great line. Drama is gay Gatorade. It <laughs> gives them it. electrolytes. Thank you. I yes. could, it's been way too long since we did a watch through of 30 Rock. Oh, yeah, sure. I show 30 Rock to a person at least once every two years, so. I show off my cool Nyla Rose shirt and all the things on it. All the gay and the trans stuff and whatnot and pan stuff and cool stuff. It's cool. <laughs> Do you have any idea how jealous I am what? of the fact that you can be in this weather and still wear a robe? I miss robes. We, in the winter, I have a beautiful red Santa-style robe. It's glorious. It's warm. It makes everything better. In the summer, I'm trying to find if I can get a literal robe made out of ice. It's all I want at this point. I, I don't think you want to take estrogen just for the cooling down powers. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, well, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a thought. It's a thought. It's, it's a, a thought. thought. You gotta but cool the fuck down somehow. That's the thing I'll never understand about mm. your decision to to. <laughs> it, I, I can't get. I could never make a decision that would affect me to that level, dude. I went to Baskin Robin once. They're like, we have thirty one flavors. I'm like, I'm gonna be very fat at the end of this. Yes, I'm not gonna make a decision where I'm choosing what kind of genitals I get. I can't even be like, yeah, give me one of each. Uh, wings. Gills, I would be the six million dollar they. Ah, nice. Thank you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mix and match, baby. Mix and match. <laughs> You're an idiot. They're like, ah, here comes Ark. He wants two of everything. <laughs> just <laughs> It's very easy. You just figure out who you are and you're like, oh, there it is. And then you then you're like, ah, yes. And then that's 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 how that works. No, oh, okay. You just peel away the layers and like, ah. And then you pick from the menu what's left. 
<laughs> I feel it, it's, some, it, it's sometimes more complex than that. But sometimes yes. more complex than that. Yeah. I've seen you peel away layers before. You had sunburn. You peeled it off in big old chunks. Was that just like, oh, female? Ah, yes. <laughs> this is how we I talk. I hate you. I know. Nah, that's fun. Uh, <laughs> I literally just did the whole thing just to say $6 million they. That's mm. all I want. <laughs> it's literally all I wanted out of that whole I mean, conversation. There you go. You just wear skirts. It's true. You can wear skirts. I... I, I'm sorry, you yeah. think I could wear a skirt? You know I'm proportional in a few months. That's true. I mean, it, it, well, mini kilt? Do they have mini? mini? Kilt, Do they have mini kilts? Tell me, please, they have mini kilts. I'll, I'll call Fox. Ah, we'll find out. Time to bring out the mini kilts. <laughs> Fucking wonderful. No, it's wonderful. That's, uh, yeah. Tommy Five Dicks. Oh, my God. I was going to wear my girl's cut shirt. Oh. I have. I couldn't find it. But it's just like a bigger neckline and just tighter and shit. It's just girls, girls' clothes. They're just like, ah, yes, you get the form-fitting shit because we want to want to look at you. It's bullshit. <laughs> like, like it, it, it is like the code out there. Like guys get to wear loose shit and and fucking oh, y girls get to wear tights out. Like why can't guys just wear tights? You should wear tights out. That, like, uh, I'm sorry. You should be able to wear them out with no problem. I don't wear tight clothing because then people could see the disaster, which is me. I wear loose clothing to feel comfortable, to feel airy, and for your benefit. I mean, I like wearing loose clothing too. I'm just saying, like, there's the option there more so. <laughs> They're like, ah, yes, here you get to wear tights now. Like, you get okay, to wear sure. tights. Now. I'm okay. Show show off. <laughs> <laughs> you show my legs off and shit. Nah, I don't. <laughs> anyway, hi I did, everybody. I did have to do tights once. Mm. I did have to do tights for for a play back in. Acting. And I wasn't what acting, acting. Yeah. But I was also back in you know uh, high school. So the the disaster was still building. This was like pre disaster. <laughs> like they're digging the hole down to the core, and we all know they shouldn't. But it's still in the phase of becoming the disaster that we all know and love. Mm, fair, fair. <laughs> the disaster we all know and love. Is that going to be your autobiography? <laughs> well, it is now. Hey. You are so good at naming shit. Yeah. You, there, you have a talent. You actually should have been in advertising. No, I, I should have. I came up with Lizards and Labyrinths. Lizards and Labyrinths was yeah. yours. Uh, uh, Dungeons and Dragons was a long... Uh, 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 conversation, but I think that one ended up being yours as well with a modifier. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it kind of wrote itself, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, it happens. I'm going back to this. Oh, shit. Our favorite pastime. A great American pastime. Baseball and weed. <laughs> Baseball and weed. <laughs> what did I say? I smoke so much weed, they can call me Barb Mollet. Barb Marley. Barb Marley. Barb Marley. Barb Marley. Oh my god. Barb Marley. I love you. Oh, weed ball. <laughs> ben, we have a new game that we cannot wait to show you. Uh, so we recently purchased uh Mario Golf. I love it at the camera. I they like it. Yeah, that does a cool thing with the green screen. Basket bud. Right? Basket bud wins. That's fucking phenomenal. Ganja ball. Ganja ball is good. Oh, thank oh. you. Let's see. Oh, yeah, replying. It's a reply. Bug. Ganja ball. Oh, my God. It's hilarious. <laughs> Mario <laughs> Golf is quite fun. Oh, Skylar. I miss impromptu nudist colonies. That's oh. always hysterical. So, uh, Skylar, yeah, we totally agree. Mario Golf is super fun. I live with an animator. Yeah. All we do is oh bitch about <laughs> the horrible job. Like, yes. what is it? Uh, uh, Boo. No, it's not even Boo. Uh, what? The kid, Bowser's kid, and one other person. Oh, I don't know the other one. They Which spin one? and hit the ball. Yeah, that's it's super cool. Best animation in the game. Yep, yep. <laughs> There's Bowser's a kid, Bowser's Bowser. Jr. And then, like, but, like, every part is like this. They just. <laughs> yeah, they just look at the camera. Right, ready? Here, Hold on. Par. Par. 
<laughs> Par. That's, that's Par. great animation. Oh my god, it's so bad. It's and then bad. the music again. We came from Mario Kart. I, I'm not uh, a traditional gamer. I game my way. City Skylines, as you guys. If you well, I like the preview. By the way, I'll be streaming more City Skylines soon. Yeah. Uh, anytime I play by myself, I will record it like that, and we'll be openings to shows uh, because we're gonna make a city together. I'm finally gonna do it. I'm gonna fill a map. I've always wanted to make a city so ridiculously sprawl that it fills a map. It's gonna be horrible. Traffic mm. will kill people. You forget, Luigi has a fun animation for his bogey. <laughs> yeah, it was a slightly the same thing. It's like, oh, come on. It's almost like bogey. What that? Luigi becomes the art critic. <laughs> You're right. But, but we came off of Mario Kart, mm. a different song every level. And we came up with words to all of them. I sure the fuck did. And we go over to golf, and it's one song the whole time. And let's not forget the punning song. Da, da, da. It's just a heart attack in audio form. I appreciate it at first. So we're listening to music during it, but we do love the game. I know you hate these. It's a very fast one. No, it's okay. I went to Nero years ago at a chapter which will not be named, and the game was so bad. The game was so bad that their final encounter, you know, the big boss moment mm -hmm. of a video game, you're in the video game. I want you to imagine this boss. A man, your height, 350 pounds, wearing a t-shirt with a sun on it that only goes to his belly button. He hasn't even put on a costume to play the boss. Tied to his belt is a, a, a Wonder Bread. Remember Wonder Bread? A big long bread. The plastic okay. bag that Wonder Bread comes in filled with spell packets which he is taking out one at a time and going death <laughs> Death. Wow. Shut up, what is magic? Death. Death. We are high-level, insanely experienced players. Mm. Our experience, like actual years of playing in, in our group, is in measured in centuries. Like most of us have been playing for 20 years. <laughs> the boss battle ended in three minutes. Oh. They, they couldn't handle us. Yeah, yeah. That is how bad this was. I need you to understand this when I say... Fun comes from yourselves. Hmm. That event was magical because me and my friends realized the only way we were going to have fun is just having fun with each other. And we did not break character. We role played our hearts out for 36 hours straight. And it was awesome. It was nice. an amazing weekend. So when it comes to a game that we enjoy, this hmm. Mario game is solid. It is a good golf game. But needed something more, we come up with things like... Mario weed. Oh, no, no, no. Speed golf. Speed golf was the culmination. At this point, uh. we have gotten so bad, we had to limit the game to the final hole only, or we would kill ourselves. Yeah. It is definitely the best game, and we might play it online sometime. Ah, uh, yes. For you see, in speed golf, speed weed golf, or other speed golf? I don't know. Either way. Speed weed golf. <laughs> you get your uh, victory hits. The game doesn't stop. You just keep going. Yeah, you're trying to run. You're trying to. Go. You're trying to run. You're trying to hit. Oh, oh, you have to go. Well, too bad. You better smoke so you so that you can hit. So. And every time you make a good shot, you know, because mm. it is the last hole. If you get a long bomb putt, oh, you got to take two hits. Oh, did you stay on the fairway? That's an extra hit. Bunker. That's a penalty hit. Yeah, it gets out of hand. It is ridiculous and fun, and we should not do it. Gee, I wonder how that happened. I think ferrets happened. My bad. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, hey, I thought came up with a new game. It involves smoking this whole bowl. <laughs> wow, what a coincidence. No, no, no. We realized the fun of the what? game when in the middle of the round, we had to pause everything and go, what's the rules for when we need to repack the bowl? And we had a debate over how we would handle it when it came down to we need more weed. That's true. We have a rule, and we will share them all with you probably soon. That will probably be our next cast. We've just given We've given up. COVID so, has made us give up. So we're like, so here are the rules. This is why we've gone through so much weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah right? That yeah. was a problem. 
<laughs> you're, you're just trying to you're just trying to show people. You're saying why? Is this what that is? This is you're why. trying to justify. I justify the uh, weed. I justified fair. the weed. COVID. All right. <laughs> justify the weed. Anyway, you I don't need to justify the, the weed. Everyone, you know, as as a thing to do because of COVID. Weed is not the worst thing you do. So legitimately, yeah, I just fucking get a little high and get happy and laugh at cartoons. So who cares? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely not, Gunzuka. I make my own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, let me do that thing or no? Oh, right, I forgot about yeah. that. Let's do that. <laughs> oh, fuck. If I can find my phone, thank you. No problem. Shout outs. Shout outs. I wonder where Xander's phone is. Shout outs. Shout outs in the last place that you look. It's Zanny now. I can't remember the rest of the song. Shout outs. Shout outs. I gotta learn your name. It's all right. Stop trying. No, it's okay. It's okay. I just want to say know people. I know. I want you to keep reminding me. You've gotten a lot better. Well, no. Actually, Miko called it. Miko's absolutely right. He's like, do you notice uh, you use Xander every time you're annoyed? I'm like, no. Fuck, I'm calling you by your full name. Xander, get over here. Xander, what are you doing? Xander, how did you lose your phone again? Sam, I love you. Oh, shit. It's, dead, it's, dead naming me for, like, punishment is not cool, I'm know. not doing it no, on purpose. I know, I know. It's, it's, you're, yeah. <laughs> I've got a mental block, and it is, what are you doing? I said, like I said, it's not a dead name. It's more of a zombie name. <gasps> Yeah. Or no, a vampire name because it's dead, but it's still sexy. Yeah, to you at right. least. Yeah. Ah, yeah, I yeah. get you. I get you. All right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, oh, my meat space name though. Eh, not not big on that one though. Spider. That we one. Have I an agreement. With that. Oh, you see a big ass spider? Eh, medium. We have an agreement. You live up there. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. Ah, so shout up. outs, Draco Silverclaw. Hello, Draco. Thank you. You have Draco, but you have Silver Claws. This is the way you oh, say stuff. I thought we were doing questions. My bad. Oh, I can no, 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 no. I knew we questions. We did shout outs first. We did the shout out song. I, I've spaced. One more time on the name. Oh, Draco Silver Claw. Drake, oh my God, Draco Silver. Did you ever hear the story of the monkey's paw? Remember, you would make wishes on it, but the wishes would always come back super shitty. Mm. So they took that paw and they golden childed and they just dipped it in gold, which turned out to be super close to silver because we played D&D. &D. They're only like 0.1 apart from each other. It's totally normal. Think of it like chemistry. Hmm. Well, all of a sudden, now you have this claw that can't bend because it's covered in silver, but you can still wish on it, but the finger won't go down. <laughs> and in the film universe, the finger has to go down and you keep getting to do the wish. Mm. And they named it Draco. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's very nice. It's, it's a Naduri thing. Yeah, yeah. It's very loud when it... Yeah, it's oh, it one tries, but it's, it's silver, so, you know, it's a, a, a sterling sound. Ah. Oh. Yeah. God damn it. Very well done. Do not masturbate! <laughs> God damn it, Sue! Ah, uh, that is a good <laughs> advice. That is always Draco. good advice. Uh, also, uh, Erner. Hello, Erner. You know, you know what? You go... Erner, I like about Erner. Erner's not take the Erner. They 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 don't. They're not just giving stuff. They're a fucking Erner. They're a fucking Erner. <laughs> I was going to do the same. <laughs> Were pun. you really? I was working on my in my mind an Erner earning pun because I don't think we had done that yet. I love that you just. I've never did that. seen a Yeen work that grind so oh, hard. Oh yeah, dude, he's a real just, Erner. A just, real Erner. Getting out there, dude. you got to get yourself out there. And and Erner's like, mostly blind, so <laughs> never sees them coming. With the and with just, the paint paint brushes in their mouth. Like, Why are all the artists I know are blind? I swear to God, you got Sudir, you got me, you got Erner. It's awesome, blind artists. It, I honestly, I think it's because the picture in your head that you have to create to offset the fact that you can't see shit has to be beautiful. We were driving down the street from their condo when we were first dating and we are heading directly and quickly at a parked car and we are just dating i'm not going to call them I'm like oh this must be how they drive they're an aggressive driver this guy's not moving oh my god we're not moving we're not and all of a sudden we swerved not a swerve that was i didn't see the car it was a controlled this is when i turn was, what are you doing it's like oh i saw the car i needed to get around it like you're blind. What do you actually see? Just blobs. 
in a totally dead pit. Just blobs. Like, so when we're driving, they say, we're avoiding the blobs. Hmm. I love you. How beautiful do you make those blobs? Because you have oh, to be I terrified. Mean, You're driving blobs. at blobs. Sue gets it. It's all blobs. It's all blobs. It's all blobs. You get it. You just you just you avoid the blobs. It's blobs. That's right. <laughs> right. You avoid the blobs. Two big blobs. Is that? Oh, that's that's someone's uh, backlights. So that's good. The, the, the lights are blobs. Yeah, because you can't see the actual cars. Not at oh, night. God. Not me. By the way, uh, oh, yeah, anyway. So, let's, Erner... Let's see if they take my license away. Anyway. They're totally <laughs> taking your license away. I'm not going to be surprised, honestly. <laughs> There's no way. They're like, congratulations. <laughs> they just wrote my license up in front of me. I, I, got a, I, got, I, got, I got a test for disability. We're going to see if well, how that goes. That was weird. They like just they just like they just did a bunch of tests on me. Like, yep, you're pretty blind. Yep, I know. We're not gonna, oh, then they dilated my eyes. So then I really... Oh, you and your eyes dilated oh, today? Yeah. Not today, when oh, I got the test. Oh, Wednesday or... Yeah, yeah, right. when I got the test, I, they had to dilate my eyes. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, with the, with the, with the liquid, because that's the really good stuff. That's Oh, yeah, that's the good shit. Because the uh, puff doesn't always work. Or the, the, they puff you in the eye. Wait, hold on, they're spitting in my eye for nothing? <laughs> Fuckers. Yeah, yeah, they can just do the liquid if you want. God, what the shit? Mm. I want the liquid. Mm. I'm so sick of Karen just coming up and be like, <sighs> you're blind. Well, everything's like yellow for like an hour. Because like of the thing is of a, yellow for yeah, an hour. Yeah, it's R. Weird. Kelly would love this shit. Yeah, people know the eye dilation drops. It's all good. Yeah, no, I'm not a fan of the eye dilation. Agreed. Oh, I need sunglasses already. I actually got fancy Costco sunglasses finally. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I anyway. love she lays in bed in the morning, you know, in the morning when your eyes cannot deal with light. And the first thing she does is grab her phone and just just staring at it, like trying not to scream. Like, <laughs> OK, with, oh my the, God, Bezos is in space! with it all the way down. OK, oh, yeah. yeah, it's incredible. OK, but if I do see you so white, it's like, ah, fuck. Never, I, I, no, seriously. I think any app that's white anymore, like you're dead. You're with it's, the background, you know. Yeah, like yeah. ah, I can't, I can't do it. I can't. I, I, yeah, dark mode everything. Seriously, it's very oh. funny. Uh, the only time we really get up and go is when we have some like a long drive ahead of us. So if we're up in the morning as the sun is coming up, and I have to be in the car with the, it's, it's just like I understand. Just go to sleep. Just put on a blindfold. I know that you're not going to be able to open your eyes for the next two hours. <laughs> I'm convinced they do not know what the surrounding area where we live looks like because I don't think we've ever gone somewhere during the you know what I mean. Mm. All right, and one more shout out, Misfit. Shout out, yes, Misfit Raider. Three, okay, it was three. I, I thought we did three. Misfit Raider. Yeah, they raid the misfits. No, no, not just the misfits, mm. but the things that do fit mm. as well. That's right. They raid Carson Perry Scotts. Carson Perry's got closed years ago, and the raider goes in there and raids the place looking for good places to set up oh. World of Warcraft farming servers. They took all the, uh, the um, you know, the, 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 the mannequins. Yeah. Yeah, from the Carson Perry Swats. Absolutely. And yeah. you put them on trains because all of us have seen the original Home Alone, and they have a drive around while playing Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. And the police drive by, and they're like, oh, let the CEO know, because I meant to say CEO, but I said <laughs> police. I have no idea why. They let them, the CEO know that this store is a rockin', and they shouldn't close it down because people will come a knocking. Great job, Misfit Raider. Thank you for keeping that small amount of capitalism alive. Way Skyler, I I don't know. Don't question mark, question mark, question mark me. Don't question me. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> all CEOs are bastards. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fair oh, enough. Oh, that's funny. Oh, but we don't. We don't all that. Uh, we did it. We, we do have questions though. We can do questions. Let's do questions. Let's do questions. Let's We're do on a roll. So f- <gasps> oh my god. And we have to catch up. Yes. We have rolls. We do have rolls. We need a roll. All right. All right. Tyro, Thunder Drone. Hello, Tyro. Uh, you get to use one spell to use from any tabletop game. What is it and how do you use it 
to mess with people. Ooh. Oh man. <sighs> See, magic missile would be interesting because. <laughs> What? It would be really painful. Like, ah, fuck, what was that? Burned you on the inside. Yeah, ah, but it's really pretty. It is. Ah, f <laughs> but ow. But what? Yeah, I know. It was really pretty. Yeah, I thought so too, but ow. See, the problem with magic missile, it always has to have a target. You can't shoot an untargeted magic missile because oh. it's in the astral plane, obviously, as you knew. I totally knew that. Yeah, yeah I understand. So what spell would you use? I, I, you know, everything would be super selfish pick. You know, I'd want a spell to actually help me. But they, the question was to mess with people. Level zero prestidigitation. You can't beat it. Mm. Prestidigitation in the hands of a clever player and a generous DM is the most powerful spell in the game just because it's just everything. Mm. Prestidigitation just means what if you were the world's best sleight of hand magician, among other things? Mm. Little tiny things, and those little tiny things turn into so much. Prestidigitation all the way. It's one of my all-time favorite spells. That's so weird. They're just like, yeah, you just your fingers are amazingly dexterous. So yep. it's to the point where it's of Ability, but using actual magic. So oh, when you make the coin disappear, okay. you get it out of their eyesight. It does vanish and reappear where you want, but it cannot affect like combat. Like that's really the only rule to the spell. Okay. If you could do it using sleight of hand, you can just do it <laughs> using magic, but it can't affect combat. You can only use it for funsies. I don't understand this rule. Level zero spell in fifth edition means that you can just. All day. So you can just keep doing little tricks. It's for role play. I understand. Level zero kind of means role play. I understand. It's just it's just weird. It's like I know. No, the logic of it in my brain. It's like, ah uh, yes, I can't I can make a coin <laughs> disappear and make it appear in your liver. Fuck. Right? <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. Well that's a that's a classic story uh, of mm. create water. Ah. Gary Gygax ran a game, and uh, it was basically their version of a playtest. And I do not remember the other gentleman's name, but he was playing the wizard in the group, and they got to the final boss, and Gary Gygax was, like, brutal. Like, mm -hmm. they're level 7, and he's throwing a dragon at them. He was he was over-the-top hard. That's why the, the Tower of Gygax at, at Gen Con is just a guy in a room killing people off as fast as he can. It's one ticket, Tower of Gygax, you go in there, and he comes up with creative deaths for a group of four. You never survive for more than, like, five minutes. It oh, is okay. hysterical. So... There's Gary Gygax running a game. He's got a dragon. His wizard goes, all right, I use my level one spell, create water. All right, you create a bit of water. He goes, no, I create 20 gallons of water in his uh, lungs. Oh. That is where the rule of it only works once comes from. Uh, yeah. uh, apparently, Gary was not happy with that, but uh, the, the the solution to it was it works that time because no one had thought of it yet, and now it doesn't work again for any reason. Now the DM can just say, no, that doesn't work. I'll come up with a reason when you do it, but no. And I've been using that rule in my D&D games for years. If you fuck with me, it'll work once. You are allowed to screw with the rules in a way that I had never thought of. Nice. But after that... The town will burn for no reason. Very interesting. Uh, thanks for the question. Uh, another question real quick? Absolutely. Awesome. Regda. Weather Fox, that's awesome. Uh, hello, Regda. Ooh. Unlimited first class flights to anywhere or unlimited food in any restaurant? You can only pick one. Holy crap. Well... Holy shit. Obviously, you can't give it to other people because then yep. otherwise like, you could feed like everyone. <laughs> I am a Chili's. Everyone lives off Chili's now. <laughs> everyone lives off Chili's now. Um, I am a foodie to the nth degree. I could use this for the best restaurant on the planet, but eventually I would get bored with one restaurant. And on top of that, free first class flights for life. Like, I just want to see my friends. Screw it. That's like getting the power of flight. You now have the superpower of flight through ATA. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that, that's pretty awesome, honestly. You, 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 there is a lot of places I want to see, and you're right. Oh, I, think, I think you're right on that one. I would be tempted just for the, for the ability to eat 
just the best shit ever. Uh, I, I'm super uh, tempted by it. Could you imagine which place you could choose for that? You could choose the Sunday brunch at the fucking uh, Bellagio in Vegas. Yeah. Literally, no, I think, I want to say it's the Bellagio. Don't quote me on that. One of the places in Vegas. Maybe it's even win. Plus, you have to eat. You don't have to fly. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's always that. Damn. Mm, oh, man. Ah! Does the food just appear in front of you? No, no you gotta all go, of a sudden. No, you have to go to, so like. So I'd have to live in I mean, Vegas to take advantage of this. I would go broke. <laughs> Never mind. I'm still flying. Oh, my God. You have, you're such a fucking maximiner that you're like, no, I must only eat the finest shit. Fly up to sous vide. I'm sorry. Do you want to beat Divinity on our first try, or do you want to fuck around? Min Come on, Max. you would never use your power at a Denny's. You would never like, just, like your free food power at a Denny's. You're like, no, this is not like worthy of my power. Not the Denny's would not be worthy. Of See, that. you're insulting the power. But there's something in it. No, but there's there's value in eating in a Denny's. <laughs> Yeah, a grand slam to your fucking colon. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> a grand slam to your colon? I have no idea. Why do you even listen to me anymore? <laughs> what the fuck? I found my friend. A grand slam to your colon. That's, that's what Denny said. That's what I'm going to call our next fucking uh, <laughs> pick on FA. <laughs> grand slam to your colon. Oh, no, that was the old. It. No, that was the old ones. Hey, oh, no, I'm kidding. Damn. Hey, there we go. Deep cut. Grand slam to your colon. Grand slam to your colon. Drag it show. It's like a grand slam to your colon. It's like Sammy Sosa hit a grand slam to your colon. Holy cow! You made me waste weed. Oh my god. That was hysterical. It's like a grand slam to your colon. <laughs> anyway, what other questions we got? Ah! Thank you. Uh, people give us money on Patreon. Thank you so much for the questions. <coughs> shoot, <laughs> shoot <and> flash! <laughs> We're professionals. I know. As, again, we just stopped caring. We love you all so much. No, we just wanted we do to do care. a show. We no, do we care, care about them. It's just us we don't care about anymore. Oh, dear. That's true. Well, we get kicked off Twitch. I'm not sure what the rules are. No, we get kicked off. If, if this is what gets us quick kicked off Twitch, I'd be shocked. Yeah. She just did a grand slam to someone's car. <laughs> Shukin can Flash. Hey, Shukin. Since the weather has decided to be insane as of late. You're in a remote, remote cabin. There is a tornado heading toward you. Oh, this actually just happened. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> a tornado totally came for us. Uh, there's a tornado heading right for you. You can either try to find somewhere to take shelter or attempt to escape it. What do you do and what item that you brought with you saves the day holy fuck well i i guess it's the 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 fucking ocarina from zelda so that the tornado goes that way <laughs> yeah hold on so you're gonna blow the ocarina it's just gonna go after link and you're like yeah. sacrifice worthy absolutely works it's for that, me yeah uh i'll give you the real one the item that will save us is the car. And what we would do is continue to drive away from the tornado because that is what we did because there was an overpass coming up. We were in DeKalb driving on I-80 when the, the everything went super dark, super fast on the radio, which started breaking up, which, by the way, was the scariest moment when the radio started crackling. Like, it was actually like being in a horror movie. Oh, my God. You're in a David Lynch movie. Yep. Totally. 100%. And we saw the, the funnel clouds. There was a giant overpass oh. coming up because of, you know, DeKalb. And right underneath it were, like, eight cars. We pulled off to the side. There was a guy there who actually kind of... He was either really knew what he was talking about or was just really confident. He was like, all right. Out of your cars, up in this little area, we all crawled up the, the, the stone embankment yeah. and got it ducked into this really small area. And he was right in the car. Like, there was stuff coming through the tunnel. 
Leather Fox. I, that's what I, hey, then he was very confident. He was very confident. Leather Fox was like, you did not do the right thing. Yeah, I, I'm so glad you told us because if I got into that scenario again, <laughs> I would have been super confident. Like, no, we got to get into dangerous. Go towards the tornado. Always towards the tornado. There's there's a there's a calm spot in the tornado, right? Try perpendicular to the path. Do not seek to if you can. Otherwise, you're in a fucking movie, which is a, Weather Fox. A we appreciate it. Mm. Oh dear. Well, I don't know how he's how he's still alive either. So. Oh no one knows <laughs> that. That is an amazing question. Oh, uh, we have more lesser questions. Thank you so much. Thank you, Weather Fox, for correcting me, too. <laughs> All right. We're catching up. Regda again. Hello, Regda again. What? As from, from, from last month. Got it. Well. Yes. You are all invited to showcase your sonas in a pride calendar. Oh, what month do you choose and what do you do in it? That's a good smarch, one. Smarch. Lousy smarch weather. Ha! It doesn't exist. <laughs> yes, I win. I figured. Come on. You, okay. All right. Uh... So, I'm good. Oh, got it. Mm. Sexy corpse. Oh, is it your, your October? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm taking December. Uh, because, this, dude, every month is corpse month if you want it to be. Uh, nice. <laughs> September. Thank you, Zoom. For me, I'm October because it's also coming out month. So, it's me coming out to my whole family out of a pumpkin and they're all horrified. Oh, they're so scared. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like the, the pumpkin explodes because it's in the middle of the whole thing and you're like spoo so i think the the only the only uh gender reveal party should be held by the person whose gender it is i think right <laughs> it should be a surprise party and that's how that works I like, think, yep. in the pumpkin that's how yeah <laughs> so although i already did that so but thank god not the coming out of a pumpkin thing, the whole coming out thing but anyway. you should have came out of a pumpkin i should have come out of a pumpkin i think you should have come out of a pumpkin yeah with Michael Jackson's Thriller playing in the background. What? Oh, no. Dude, if there's any song you're going to come out to. Um, ding, ding. Dad, I'm a girl. Boom, 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 because they're going to dance. You can't not dance. if my, They're going to do the arm thing. Can you imagine that conversation? You've ruined our lives. I'm very sad right now. I don't know if this is part of the dance, but I remember it. it definitely softens the blow. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> okay, one and more. And then Vincent Price oh. shows up. <laughs> <laughs> and then Vincent Price just, hello. hello. <laughs> I hear there was a coming out. <laughs> he just shows up. I'm here to toss eggs because they're cracked. <laughs> hey, hey, he's a fucking egghead. See, it all comes back around. <laughs> he shows up as egghead. I heard an egg cracked. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest thing ever. This is the best coming out party. Why didn't we do this before? I don't know. Because we would have actually done it. That's why. <laughs> I come out and you're like, yes, crack. You just start throwing eggs at everyone. That's what you would do. <laughs> I I uh, kind of want to get to the point that we get so weird with it. Your parents are like, I don't know if they're actually coming out or if this is performance art. I'm not positive, so I don't want to react because we are very Midwestern and are not allowed to have emotions uh, and life. Yes. Oh, okay. One more question. <laughs> Thank you so much. You guys rock. Oh, Shukin Flash. Oh, Shukin. You're given the opportunity to change careers for six months with no consequences. You're working full time, but you won't have to worry about money and the job can be anywhere in the world. What job do you go take and where do you go? So, like, the idea is, like, we have to go back? That's an interesting one, actually. Wait, what do you mean go back? I don't oh, know. We have to go back to our job afterwards? Yeah, that is what they mean. Yeah, because change careers for six months. Otherwise, it would like, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to take advantage of that. Okay. I want to be a uh, city planner in, oh. Uh, oh, my God, Canada. There's a fur con there. Help me out. There's uh, only so many uh, Canadian uh, fur cons. Uh, uh, there's fur. It's eh, literally the world's most beautiful city. Fur, 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 fur,
Vancouver. Vancouver. Yep, Vancouver is. Uh, yeah, I would kill to to Fernal experience Equinox? being a city planner there. Fernal Equinox. No, I'm thinking of of of, of Fervana. No, uh, of, of of Vancouver. Oh, okay. Vancouver is a is a convention. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I have wanted to visit Vancouver for my. Oh my God, I will visit Vancouver sometime. Okay. Yep. Okay. Sue's got it. Yeah, because that's like right over, right? Pretty much. Yeah. If I remember my geography correctly. Yeah, I we are. We recently had to do a panel for Brazil Fur Fest. And in my mind, Brazil was so far away. That must be like 10 hours. I am a moron. Brazil is two hours off from us because maps are hard. I have to I have to get my passport before that. I have to change my name in Illinois because that's a pain in the ass. So. Oh, I'm just going without you. This sounds like a thing. No. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Love you too. Oh. No, I'm changing my legal name to Zanny, so that's the thing I'm doing eventually. <laughs> so that way, that's there, and then you can shorten it if you want. So it's good. It's all good. I like it. So what's your what's your job? Uh, ice ice road trucker. <laughs> that way I can die right away. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> like fur, fur, this is fun. <laughs> I just imagine you. I throw a trucker. The perfectly dug out road. And you're just like, see you never. Just fucking to the right. You just, there goes a brave man. Woman. Woman. Just driving through the snow. Fucking into a lake. You didn't make it out of the parking lot. Welcome to Ice Road Truckers. The first round is all the rookies that don't make it. It's just like fucking. It's just like fucking. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 What's the show with the uh, kids who sing? And everyone feels uh, bad. Uh, um. American Idol. It's American Idol with trucks. They just <laughs> truck and you just watch the first round. Oh, fuck. And they're just like going to walls and shit. It'd be great. Uh, I'm going to read this out loud because I was giving out misinformation. Again, thank you, uh, WeatherFox, for correcting me. Do not seek shelter from a tornado under an overpass. The overpass acts to accelerate the tornado's winds. Motherfucker. Due to the... V Due to the Vinny effect, it's the Vinny effect now, and most overpasses don't have that gap under the grinders. Also, you're higher up, which is the opposite of what you want to do. That kind of makes sense. The tornado's winds are faster further up off the ground. The infamous video from 1991 in Kansas showed people doing that, but the tornado actually missed them. They were very lucky. People on 3 May 1999 were... Holy crap. <laughs> Ooh, oh. That's, that's rough. <laughs> Sue, I'm waiting for Eddie to just come back. It's like, oh, you just die. Because if you see a tornado, you're already dead. Yeah. It's you just stay in your car and you pucker your asshole. Pretty much. <laughs> and you're like, yep. Punch the tornado. <laughs> Fair enough. You're like, Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. Buddha. Stir the clutch. I don't know. Fuck it's not know. Jesus at that point. It's Poseidon. Oh, it's just, Poseidon, right. It's just <laughs> Poseidon's driving my car. Poseidon. Just... Oh, that's why you ended up in a lake. <laughs> Poseidon. Thanks so much, Leo. Poseidon. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. Street sent me a goddamn article that a, a, a woman in Illinois f ended up in a fucking pond. I was like, like, this you? Like, fuck you. That's funny, funny though. <laughs> Love you, Street. I'm Pos sorry, I can't get over Poseidon, <laughs> Poseidon take the wheel. Take the wheel is pretty great. That's the fucking best. <laughs> oh, Poseidon, God. take the wheel. Poseidon, take the wheel. Holy shit. Oh. Was that our class? I think that was all the questions. I will double check, but thank you all so much. We will be better about doing these streams, answering your questions. We're so sorry. We've been doing stuff. It's work. It's, it's my job. Things. They're, they're all aware. If you've been here for any amount of time, you're all aware. Yeah. I appreciate the understanding. It, it It's not going to get better. So. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're, we're gonna Positivity try. Positivity doesn't have to be limited to STDs. We're gonna try to do better. We will. 
Yeah. It's good to oh, see you too, Sue. It's good we to see y'all. That being said, why don't we end the show with uh, anyone, anything that you guys would like to talk about? Because we love talking to our audience. We don't get to do this during uh, our live shows because those have to be. Oh, we have to be so tight with our time. Oh, just... we will uh, just let you know we will be at Megaplex coming up. This guy's uh, guest of honor, so we'll be there. Right? Forgot I was guest of honor. Yeah. yeah. No. So very excited about Megaplex. Uh, and actually, we're going to be doing a, a very interesting panel. Uh, Pepper and me are sharing a panel, and we're yeah. literally just going to go back and forth. They're going to play music, and I'm going to do stand up, and we're going to turn it into a show. And I'm very excited to see how this works. Ferrets and Peppers. Ferrets yeah. and Peppers. Well, very cool. Uh, Seamus, if you were talking about special techniques with the dice, uh, no. The only thing I try to do with the dice is I have a short throw that tries to land in the cum box so I don't hit chips. I don't like hitting chips. But no, if you're talking about my physical throw, it's nothing uh, special. Sometimes I'm at a table with a person who takes fucking 20 minutes to set up their dice and I want to murder them. They literally, I've been at no. Oh. I've been at a table with a guy who literally picked up his craps dice and threw them against his own wall until he rolled a seven with the justification of what are the odds of two sevens coming up in a row. And I had to remind him the odds are exactly 36 to 1 because the previous outcome has nothing to do with current results and I wanted to kill him. People in Vegas don't have logic. Let me tell you this. Remember, I was like the bad luck charm for the for the, for the desk. For the desk. For the, the, the money desk. The, the money desk. We're all at the money desk. We're rolling at the, at the, money, the money desk. desk. We were at the money desk. Uh, yes, Zan... Every time Zan approached the table, somebody would crap out to the point where the people who did not know us around the table would groan and make comments when they would cut. And they actually just walked away for a while. And I was just like, well, I'm playing for all of our money and we're winning now, so I can't argue with this, but I feel really bad. But, I mean, money, uh, you understand, right? Money. It's true. Yeah. Money. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's, I don't know. I was unlucky. I wasn't the right gender. No. Oh, here comes the lucky lady. It'll be so much better. Ah, it would have been. Yeah. yeah now right, now right. you can't leave the They're table. Like, blow my dice, bitch, and like, and I can slap him. That'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> blow my dice, bitch. Blow my dice. That's that's that, that's gonna be your line to me. <laughs> blow my dice, bitch. <laughs> That's the worst. I know. Oh my god. Oh, don't you remember? That's what Data did, right? That is what Data did. Data had uh, Deanna Troy, right? Blow the dice. Yep. Graphics. Has anyone ever told you your bad luck? Those are my mother's dying words. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's great graphics. What's my favorite line from the critic? Oh, my psychiatrist was right. God does hate me. <laughs> That's like the greatest fucking line. Holy shit. Uh. All right. You have to talk of her lying Oh, uh, well, no. This is ASMR or whatever it's called, right? ASMR joint. <laughs> ASMR joint. Ah, fuck. Now we're watching ourselves. This is what you get. Uh. <laughs> All right, get that. <laughs> and we get that. Uh -huh. I love TNG. Mm. Sorry, we're resetting up. We, <coughs> we had to look at ourselves for a second. It was horrific. Could you click on the chat? We're not so it's good to it. see, it's good to see Thank what you. you look like. I did a terrible That's you're good. I got it. <coughs> okay. We actually throw on TNG from time to time. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, every once in a while it's just a good way to kill 40 minutes. Mm-hmm. Is that what it was about? Forty minutes? About 40, 45 minutes. Yeah, I get I, I love TNG for many reasons. I mean, they got better at varying the plot in Voyager and stuff. Uh, but I will say, like, fucking TNG is like, oh no, I'm in my own world by myself is like <laughs> half the fucking episodes. The ship in a bottle episodes? Ship in a bottle. All of them are good. Oh yeah. I, I even like it. the Wesley episode. I think I'm alone in that one. The the, the one where uh his mom gets caught in the warp bubble. That was a Wesley episode? Kind of? Wesley solves it, and the Traveler was part of the episode. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, well, it's weird because they never bothered finishing it because they knew it was stupid. Yeah, the Traveler episode. Oh, Wesley, did you know you're Space Jesus? <gasps> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's, a, 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 it, it's Harry Potter. He's the Harry Potter of his face. He, like, mm -hmm. he saw his little thunder on his leg. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, Seamus, if Data tried to become more Klingon, I'm pretty sure we would just get the awesome Western episode where we got to see Brent Spiner play every character on the holodeck. Dude, he was such a good villain. He is always, he's good at everything. God damn. I want to see Brent Spiner reprise his role as the the crazy bumpkin in TNG. And, uh, and, yeah. I... Brave. For those of you who don't know what we're Night talking court. about, yes, Brent Spiner played a country bumpkin as a reoccurring character on an amazing show called Night Court. Mm-hmm. Uh, both of us grew up with Night Court. It's one of our favorites. Look up Brent Spiner Night Court on YouTube and you'll find some great shit. <laughs> it, it, he is it, it, brilliant. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you. Fistful of Datas is the name uh, of the episode. Yeah, I love Night Court. Hell yeah. Oh, Fistful of Datas. Oh, yeah. Weather Fox, you are totally right. One of my favorite is a treasure. One of my favorite bottle data episodes is where uh, they got to make an opponent for data, so they accidentally make AI. Oh, are you kidding? (laughs) Moliarty? He they created life. Moliarty is an amazing episode. Yeah. Yeah. Both of them. Both Moliarty episodes are fantastic. Wait, Sue, what? Was Brent Smiter. Nope. Okay. You, you, I'm pretty sure Brent Spiner was not in, in Fargo. No. You are way better at movie trivia than yeah, I am. No, it's okay. Uh, uh, Drumhead is the TV TNG episode that sticks out most. I don't. Uh, I don't I, know it by the name. I'm we sure we saw it. Oh, we've seen all. Is we that the, the one through. where they're being questioned? The guy's questioning everyone. It was like the Red Scare one, right? I believe. Uh, I can't Maybe. remember. The guy was being an asshole, and he was like questioning everyone on the, on the on 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 the ship, I believe. Uh, it's been yeah. too long. Yeah. 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 Mm. <laughs> nice, Skyler. Yeah, Moliarty was great. Uh, Darmak and Tanagra. All right, now at this point, I'm just repeating what the chat says. So we're gonna start calling this in a moment Hold or on. two. Oh yeah, what do you got? We had the pleasure. Of showing Miko an episode that they had never seen. Which episode was that? Fucking uh, Picard is Robin Hood. Whatever the fuck the Robin that Hood is Q called. Episode. It's so good. Q is a treasure. Oh, like I never knew until we rewatched the whole series years ago mm-hmm. that the first episode of TNG was a Q episode. Yeah. That is insane. Who that I am not a merry man. I am not a merry man. That was so good. So good. I, who greenlit a all powerful god who could snap his fingers and do every anything as the first villain you're going to meet for a a giant show like Star Trek? That is crazy. That is not a season premiere episode. And is that what works. that was? No, the first episode ever is a Q episode. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's it's insane to me. Q is the best character. Oh, it's a wonderful character. Yeah. Oh my god, I love every everything with Q. Actually, yeah. he had a fun one in DS Nine. Oh yeah, because anything with Quark is fun. I fucking Quark was ridiculously fun. <laughs> of course, Riker's pansexual. Riker screws everything in space, especially chairs. <laughs> yeah, you see how he mounts that thing. <laughs> Mike, Riker mounts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, well, I believe everyone was drunk, Seamus. Or I, I thought that's what the, that was. They were, yeah, they were, they their in, inhibitions were taken down just like when you were drunk. That was the uh, idea of what it was. Yeah, because even Data like, was trying to lean on stuff and falling over yes. and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, a, I can't remember why, but it was And fun. then Picard was being all French horny, like, hur, hur, hur. remember? It's fucking awesome. <laughs> Do you remember that? I do now. I totally forgot about that. All right. Well, now that we've lost anyone who's not into Star Trek. Uh, (laughs) Well, come on. It's our audience. Yeah, it's true. That is true. It it went up. It went up? (laughs) It went went up from the Star Trek. Numbers go up. French horny is different. Yeah, who gets it? French horny is different. Oh, speaking of French horny, I was very proud of a joke a wrestler made. It was a thinker. So like th- this guy does he he freestyle raps, uh, you've seen you've seen Eight Mile yeah. So he basically does that against his opponents every time. Oh cool! It's kind of neat. And so he made one about 
one of the cheerleader girls. He goes, here's a here's something that you want. And they give her bread. And we're like, what the fuck? She wants bread? She wants to get she wants to get bread? Are they saying she wants to get bread? Holy shit, I think they're saying she wants to get bread. And me and Miko just like took a while, like Oh okay. my god. Okay, that's exactly what he's fucking saying. <laughs> Cause he was it was French bread. I'm like Bread? Wow. Yeah, I think that's what they were going for. I think I'm that's what they were going for. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Well, welcome to wrestling. Welcome to wrestling. Everyone, I'm really glad that we did this. I miss hanging out and chatting with everyone so much. Pregnancy rap? What? I miss you guys so much. What? It's Pregnancy just. Pregnancy rap. What? I don't know. <laughs> you do it. Do the pregnancy rap. <laughs> okay, that's enough. We're really white and we're not good at this. Oh, Leave God. us alone. Gonna take a fist. There we go. See, I, I a rap you. out of my mouth would not be a sound. But this rap here, it's about a woman big and round. Inside her, a life is formed. Lost it there. Okay, I need to stop right now. Gaia. Gaia. I don't know. Gaia. 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 What are you talking about a fat woman? I don't know what you're talking about. Can I get pro? What? We have to watch a Lin Manuel Miranda show in the Heights or whatever. Oh, we totally need to watch that. Also, I you should not be asking. Can I get pregnant? That is a question you should already have the answer to. You really need to be sure of that one. That's scary. <laughs> We are the Dragon Show. Yay. If you've enjoyed this, uh, please, subscri shrink. please subscribe. Also, subscribe. Uh, follow, follow, and all that kind of stuff will be on here. We, I will be try transferring stuff to YouTube, but but we are going to try to stream here so that we all can be in the same room. Yeah, it is nice having everybody chatting in the same place. Yeah, we miss you all. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, keep your eye on our Twitter and Telegram to see when shows are happening. We will try to announce these sooner, but every once in a while we're going to be doing this because this is what we need to do to have shows right now. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your understanding. Thank you for being here and good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Night. Smoke, smoke, Matches. smoke. Bye. Bye.